Yeah, that's right. It all happened in La Jolla, a city where residents fought to have an early voting site, but now some campaign volunteers are claiming they're being harassed and bullied. One group was even asked by police to leave. As the Democratic primaries heat up, crossing this mark is against the law if you are a campaign volunteer. But now a group of volunteers says they are being harassed for being too close to the curb. The situation right now is the police are saying that we are in the right of way. Jose Hernandez says on Tuesday, La Jolla police asked him and other supporters for the 92nd State District Court Judge candidate Ray Ortiz to remove their canopy from this grassy area. They cooperated, but today they're taking a stand. I mean, we're not in violation of any laws. Hidalgo County election officials agree. They say as long as volunteers don't cross this orange paint, they are not breaking any election laws. Hernandez believes the police order was handed down from elected city officials who sit across the parking lot. The group is accused of not playing nice this election. The second day, uh, our volunteers have been harassed and been bullied um, by the opponent party. The group includes La Jolla City Commissioners who all support rival candidate Luis Singletary. They take take up most of the space in the parking lot and are the alleged bulliers, but they say the claims are false. We have a call now in La Jolla where everyone knows that they have a voice, that there's no intimidation in our city. We have a fantastic city, new city council that doesn't put any pressure on anyone. Francis De Leon says they fought to get the city's early voting site back and wouldn't jeopardize that by petty fights with opposing camps. Why would we come out here after making such a big stand and embarrass our city and our city council? That's not what we're about. Just two days into early voting, these two groups will have to find some common ground to keep things civil for the rest of this election season. Early voting continues through February 28th, and election day for the primaries is March 4th. In the Hidalgo County Newsroom, Nadia Glendale, Action 4 News.